Alright, welcome back. I'm Daniel and in this video we will create our Scratch account and learn about the Scratch development environment. For this course you don't need anything installed on your computer, just to go to this website, scratch.mit.edu, which I recommend that you bookmark for this course. Now, the first thing that I want you to do is go here on the top right part of the screen where it says Join Scratch. This will pop up a little wizard that will help you create your Scratch user. So pick a username. I'm going to name myself Daniel-Udemy3. Then pick a password that is easy for you to remember but hard for other people to guess. And then confirm it on the third field here. Before clicking on Next. Pick your personal details before clicking on next again. And then you will need an email address. Now, if you're a kid and you don't have an email address, bring your parent or your supervising adult to fill in the email address for you. And then the screen will look something like this where your account has just been created. Click this OK, let's go blue button and then go to your email and validate your account. The email that you or your parent or supervisor will receive from Scratch will look something like this, where it says greetings from the Scratch team at MIT. You just sign up for a new account on Scratch with the username, whatever you picked. And then all you need to do is click this orange button to validate your account. And then go back to the Scratch homepage and just hit refresh. And at this point, we should be good to go. We have a Scratch account and we're ready to create our first project which we can do by going to this little folder icon where we have our stuff. So click here and click on this plus new project button. So welcome to the Scratch dashboard and to your first Scratch project. I'm going to walk you through all the components here on the screen and you'll get more familiar with all of them as we go along with the course. I'm going to start with the right hand side of the screen. This part right over here where the cat is, is called the stage. This is where everything that you program will take place. So if you program this cat to move around in circles, that's what's going to happen here on this little screen. Below the stage, on the bottom right hand side of the screen, you have controls for sprites and for the stage backdrops. Now, sprites are everything that will appear on the screen. This cat over here is called a sprite, and it has a number of properties. First of all, it has a name. You can name it whatever you want. It has a position on the screen, a horizontal position, and a vertical position. We'll learn everything about X and Y coordinates throughout the course. Then you'll have controls to either hide it or show it on the screen. You have its size, which is in percentage. 100 means its normal size, and direction is measured in degrees. We'll learn everything about degrees, sizes, and coordinates in the course. Then you have controls for the stage where we will customize backdrops. You can set up various sceneries in the course and so on and so forth. We'll learn everything about it throughout the course. Of course, we have some controls here to add new sprites or to customize the sprites that we currently have, as well as the backdrops. So right now in our project, we have one sprite. Of course, throughout the entire course, we'll create complex games and applications where we'll have multiple sprites in our project. Every sprite will have three things, which brings me to the left hand side of the screen. First of all, a sprite will have code, which is this tab right over here. Code is composed of this little colored blocks, which we will learn about throughout the course. We have lots of sections with lots of colored blocks. We'll learn everything about all of them throughout the course. And the code blocks will basically dictate how sprites are going to behave on the stage. The second thing that a sprite has is costumes, which you can find here on the second tab. This costumes tab will pop up a small editor where you can customize how the sprite is going to look. That's what a costume is. It basically dictates how the sprite will look on the screen. Right now, the sprite looks like a cat. And right now, this sprite has two costumes. One that looks like this 
and one that looks like the cat is walking or running. You can have as many costumes as you want, and you can program the sprite in the code to change costumes. We'll learn about that throughout the course. And then the third thing that a sprite has is sounds. A sprite can have as many sounds as you like, and right now this sprite has one sound that sounds like a cat. And with that, we've covered almost everything. If I go back to the code, this big empty part of the screen, in the dead center of the screen, is where we will store our code composed of these colored blocks. We'll do most of our work here in the center of the screen. Other than that, we have some controls on the top blue part of the screen. And on the top right part of the screen, you have some controls related to your account and a link to your stuff where you will store all of your projects that you will create as you are a member of the Scratch community. So that should be everything we need to create our first scripts. And I will be waiting for you in the next video where we will start doing exactly that.